I'm JC from Craft Life and I'm here today to teach you how to make these decorative glass candle holders or you can use these as room decor and store all your makeup brushes or anything that you want in them. The supplies you'll need to make this are a glass vase, cup, or even a candle holder. And a lot of you have been asking me if you could use other supplies, so if you do not have a glass vase, cup, or candle holder, you can use a plastic cup. You will also need glass gems or table scatter. And for Valentine's Day, I made this one with plastic table scatter hearts. An optional supply is a tea light, and I think these look very pretty in my room, so that's why I like to use these. You will also need a glue gun or a strong glue. So please get your supplies and we'll begin. This is completely optional, but if you want to, you can take some sandpaper and scratch along the edge of the glass. And I do this because it helps the gems stick to the glass. Now we are going to begin gluing our gems to our cups. And if you will be using a plastic cup, you can just glue them right to the bottom and go all the way around. But make sure that once they are glued on, your cup can still sit. My cup has a lip to it, so I'm going to just begin gluing right above the lip and all the way around. And if you are going to be using heart table scatter, the way I like to do it is I like to have my first row right side up. And then when I move on to my second row, I turn them upside down. Just so that you can see it, the first row is right side up, then the next row is upside down, and it keeps switching. And I line my hearts up in the center of the last two for each heart. Also, if you will be using a cup, your hearts will be more spread out, and I started with it upside down because I wanted it to end up right side up. When I glue on my gems, I like to place some glue on the gem and then place it on. And now I'm just going to place it right above the lip. Now you can take your next one and it can be any size that you want. And you can find where you want to place it and then put glue on it. Please continue to place gems all the way around your cup. I just finished my first row and I'm about to glue down my last gem and to do this there's a large space but the gem does not fill the entire space but that's okay because this can be the back. Now we're going to move on to our second row and for this row you do not want it touching the first row so when I'm gluing it on I'm going to glue it on in between these two but a little bit above them because as you are going around, some of the gems may be larger than others and you want it to look the same all the way around. So this is how it should look and please continue this all the way around. I just finished my second row and this is what it looks like. And now we're going to continue to add on gems all the way up to the top. And for each row, please continue to do what we have been doing, where you place a gem right in between these two, and make sure that it does not touch your last row. I just finished four rows, and as you can see, there's room for one more row. So I'm going to glue all the way around my last row. I just finished placing on my very last gem, and now your candle holder is finished and you can put anything inside of it. I'm going to put a tea light inside of mine. Now it is finished. This is what it looks like when it's done and I just wanted to let you all know that I got all of my supplies except the glue gun from the dollar store and at the dollar store they have a bunch of different colored gems and they also have table scatter and I even found this glass cup near the candle section and you can even find these plastic cups there too. You can make this one with the heart table scatter for gifts for Valentine's Day or you can even use them as Valentine's Day room decor. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up 
and if he makes them, I'd love to see them. My Instagram is craftlifeusa, so please tag me in a photo. And please don't forget to like us on Facebook, pin it on Pinterest, and subscribe right here on YouTube. I hope you're living a craft life just like me. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!